using the Scott Barnes method. Freda, I hope you're happy. I tried it. Like the eye and the the shimmer in my eyebrow is I think the one. And then the, the lip situation. Especially as like I know like my bottom lip is bigger than my, my top lip. Like he gave me my life. <laughs> He really gave me my life. I don't know if I look like my whole face looks like. Okay, I'm a loss for words. Hey everybody, welcome to the makeup corner. I'm coming to you with a ponytail. For those joining us for the very first time, welcome y'all. Welcome. For those who are here, subscribers, thank you so much as usual. Hey swag fam. Um if you're watching my third or fourth video and you don't subscribe please make sure that you do subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you get notified of all the videos that I post if you have subscribed and you know hit, and you didn't click the notification bell just make sure that you do that because then you're wondering why is she uploading and I don't get my notifications please make sure you do that for yourself okay so what are we doing today when I did the doing my makeup with the other hand challenge um, with my friend Freda, she challenged me to do the Scott Barnes um, makeup method so I can get my face snatched like JLo. Um, I had to work myself up to doing it, and here we are. I'm filming it today, I'm hoping it goes right. If you're seeing this, I tried. <laughs> so, she is, he is doing Tati's makeup, and he is JLo's uh, makeup artist. So, Guys, how do you like my ponytail? I pulled off the whole wig ponytail situation and my wig is like sitting and I'm so... If you're seeing lines, don't mind me. It's the first time I'm trying to like finesse this ponytail situation. Also because Tati in this video is wearing a, a ponytail and I just want to make sure that I get the look right. So I need to pull my hair back. And this wig that I've been worn in a while, I like I pulled it out and I was like, come on, let's go play. So here we are. Well, I do makeup, which is interesting because I see people that do really beautiful makeup and people look great on the street. That's not my thing. Like, you'll look good on film, uh -huh. but maybe in person you'd be like, ah. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to treat you as though we were doing like a video shoot, music oh. video or something. Uh, yeah, you guys, like I'm going to sing for you at the end of this. Okay. Oh, he didn't prime her face, but I will not do this without priming my face. So I'm going to use my Revlon Rose Glow. <laughs> and let's just cool girl with ponytail. Side note, every time I look at myself in the mirror, I'm like, oh my gosh, I look like a girly kid in high school. Anyway, yeah, it really reminds me my look in high school. Not like this, but like braided back. Anyway, it's already gonna, gonna be a long video. Let me stop with my rambling. Let's get in there. So I'm gonna use all nighter, right? Okay. What I like to do with this is to bring it in and you just use it to like eliminate stuff. And I'm gonna go in ham, like I'm Wait, gonna use yes, makeup. I like I'm like not gonna pretend like. Just drench me. He is going in with a very, very like light concealer. Oh my gosh, I'm even a very light concealer. Yeah, I do. I'm going to go in with a Revlon one. Um, Revlon Candid um, Concealer and it is in the shade 065 and I'm going to do exactly what he does and he does that he says he goes ham and then he goes in like this I'm going to be a forehead blender person and then he goes in like this. And he goes somewhere here. He didn't do her brows yet, but you know I do my brows before hand. So I'm trying to get it exactly the way he's drawing her face. Hope I didn't get too much product. I'm gonna talk about Jennifer. Jennifer calls this a cat. And then he blends everything. Because she goes, look, 
It's like a cat paw. <gasps> I love that. So anyway, um, what I like to do with it is just kind of blend it out and just working into the skin. Now I'm starting to feel like that guy from, remember who used to do oh, the painting? Bob Ross. See that? See how the angles are already happening? Ooh. It's kind of weird, right? <laughs> the reason why I always hit the chin mm -hmm. is because you want this to come forward. It makes things sharper. All right, jaws. Ah, wait. Okay, I'm just gonna pull this up here. And this technique is literally pull. <laughs> like that time when I did my video with my brother. Okay, and then he said he's gonna give a person the jaws of life. Luckily I have a, the brush that he's using and then uses this brush and I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal. I need the a full one. Six hours later. Okay, for the life of me, I cannot figure out what I did with my full stick foundation so I'm gonna try and like dip in here and create the jaws of life that he is creating where is my can I move it can I pick it with the new stuff anyway he literally goes from this ear and he uses a dark shade so this is the as dark as I have I think this will work I'm gonna take it out here and put it here and then use it as, as I see him use. Where's my other? <laughs> anyway, no point. We're here. And from one ear to the other. Snatched. Snatched the house. So this is what I call I'm gonna do this look. I actually have named it. Oh, you named this look? Yeah, it's called Snatural. Snatural. It's <gasps> snatched, but natural. I love that it's so much. Okay, so what he basically does is like flick this thing. He keeps doing that and then flicking it down here. I guess the idea is like to kill this chin situation. What chin? For who? What? With chiseling here. He was an artist, by the way, this guy. Like a painter, I think. Okay. Okay. And then he goes right there. And he goes... He uses this brush for this, but because I can't find my other one, I'm just going to use this, guys. Like, I can't. And then he goes... Minimizes her forehead. I also refuse to walk to go get the other one. Like, I just refuse. Okay, so all the snatching. He's literally using brushes like paint brushes. Like, they look like paint brushes. And then he, like, flickers them out, or whatever you call it. Like, this is how he does his. I don't even know how he does it here, but anyway. Just the idea is top, not down. It's always top. Do I look snatched yet? Okay. This is where people really mess up with contouring. They over contour and then they drag all this brown into the nose mm -hmm. and into the side of the face. And then they just face tune it later, which is saying. Which is. <laughs> Which is an issue. And then he uses an angled brush to do the snatchery in the nose. I mean, on the nose. With the same so angled brush. We keep going back into this thing that's finished. And then he lines it. I 
think his brush is even smaller than mine. This is stressful. Now the trick to having a fuller lip is not overlining it to death. And then he also lines her top lip. I guess for overlining sake. Literally oh, bronzing her so here. Right here. I will not do that. Yes. For all of them? Yes. But were you there the last show? Yes, of course. So was I. You know what the mint does? Goes in with the foundation that's her actual shade. And put it here. And then uses that found that brush, that foundation to like blend between the two. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. Because we're taking the foundation that's our actual um, shade and just blending between the contour and the concealer because he's saying we don't want to eliminate the contour so that's basically what's happening right now and he goes between a thicker brush and a smaller brush you don't take so much foundation he uses a variety of brushes that i don't have but I'm going to use this one also to like go in between because I see what he's doing. I think I see what he's doing. And then he takes like a smaller brush. Same story. I guess the idea is to get the blend right. So he keeps playing between the two shades and that shade. Yeah, I see what he's doing. See, and then because the smaller brush helps, the bigger one, like the one with the foundation, so he goes over stuff. And then the smaller one, do I look snatched? I love cream. I think that cream works primarily better than powder for a couple reasons. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's coming from inside the skin. He's push, putting cream blush on her. I don't know if cream blush. Can I try lipstick? I'm going with lipstick. This is the matte, the plum tuxedo 46 from L'Oreal. And then put that blush on. <laughs> I feel I didn't do too much. Because he is literally just patting it on. He's not like... But his hand is moving in such a way where you're like, is he patting it on or what is happening? Or is it like flickering? I don't know. But I'm doing it the best way I can. the way that I see it fit, well, you know what I mean. Okay, powder. Oh, I know. I could also use this invisible. He's using like a setting situation. So I'm going to go in with my Black Opal Invisible Oil Blocking Press Powder. Who's that highlight? Yeah. <gasps> Do you yeah. I have a version of the brush that he's using. Mama, I made it. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> okay, he's highlighting. Okay, so he's highlighting this. 
Actually, using one of those highlighters, like multiple stuff. Where is my Revlon situation? Maybe Revlon's one would be the best one to use. It doesn't like, yeah. I'll use Revlon also in multiple situations. And he says, this mixes everything. And then he highlights. This used to be my kind of brush before, like back in the day for highlighting before I started using it because I used to feel like I'm always I'm just overdoing the whole thing. Mind you, this nose is still not contoured or like blended or whatever. We're just doing everything else. Talk the body when you do your face, like, and I show you. Like I love, and the reason why I waited for it. When is he blending her? No, I'm so. <laughs> I'm going to repeat this a few moments later see this time he's already blended out the entire like no situation so let me do that Now he's bronzing her cheeks. Do I even have bronzer? Where's my dark powder? Where's my dark powder? What am I going to use to bronze? What am I going to use to bronze? Oh, I'm going to use. Oh, I haven't used this in a long time. Look at how thingy it is. Like I didn't even care. From Signature, they have that dark powder. I'm going to go in with my normal angled brush. And then snatch my situation here. And then he goes in literally like that. But I think his is much warmer than mine. Mine is a bit cooler, but let's just put it on dark skin, right? He's lining her lip with like a dark uh, brown, uh, with the like nude liner thingy i only have my lipstick so i don't have a pencil i don't like pencils so i'm going to well now clearly i really have to buy pencils and then it just goes And then he goes in with something nude. I don't think I have a nude gloss. I do. I'm going to use my normal lip gloss. If I know I can find where I threw it. Luckily my lips are anyway dark. In general. Don't require much. Okay. And then. Oh, look at how plump. Oh, I'm going to try this situation here. Okay. Let's just. Sarah He's Artistry, I use brows. these four brows, believe it or not. Hmm. Now this is a gold, I think this mm -hmm. is called Blonde Shimmer. Okay, so We're shimmering our eyebrows. He puts a shimmer in her eyebrows. Wait, what up? I'm gonna take from the highlight <laughs> I like palette and I'm going to go into the dark one and just flick it into my eyebrows. And then he does this thing where he's showing her if you're going out you can get a more chiseled like cheek thingy with a powder. I'm gonna try and go in with like something black because my mind is not like that dark so I can see if I can get that chiseled and then he goes over with something like has a shimmer so I can go in with a highlighter and make mix highlighter with my foundation powder and then flick it up I need to find the black let's pretend we're going out when doing the same thing on this side 
this was the idea with the dark dark um thingy i wonder what it would look like if i put a little bit of it on my cheekbone <laughs> you know what i'm going to take the fluffier brush and then i'm going to go into the black and i'm just going to flick it up here because the idea of him going in with a very dark um, contour is for this chiseled situation that I couldn't give him with the stuff that I have and then I'll go over it's gonna I'm literally starting it at my ear just dabbing a little bit What he did was go in with, I'm going to dab into the shimmer and into my foundation shade for the bottom part to blend that black out because his products have like shimmers in them and just blend the black out to soften it. don't have the products you must make it work go into my powder and then just Blend the hair out, this dark here, so it's not black, but it's like a more, it just brings down that black, guys. And then I'll just reapply, go with the same thick brush into all of them for the bit of highlight. I'm gonna like brush it down now, so we can get that highlight back. now he's finally coming together he's doing her eyebrows and he's putting in like a brown there i didn't even put anything on my my lids so with the same concealer that i started off with i'm going to just He even put shimmer here but we'll get there so let me just quickly do this whole situation here should have watched this video before i like decided to do this thing properly <sighs> angled thick angled oh this is a clean brush I'm using brushes that I need to wash after this before. Okay, so I'm just flicking mine up to my eyeshadow because I, you know, I'm into my eyebrow. Just flicking it up. is going in for the nice like brown and he's doing this whole thing so i just need to like create a nice base for for that eyeshadow oh this is her look i'm tired people and my sister says my makeup steps are like it's too much for her this is too much for me but this eyebrow story and this nose contour story <laughs> Here it's like everywhere you can even like see it in my anyway that's not the point point is it's going in with a smaller blending brush and he's taking a brown a dark brown let me see ah i'm going to use the old women warrior palette the color palette there's this dark brown there that's what i'm going to use 
he's using the one from his like contour situation but i don't have those things like i have none of his products and then he goes and he circles Let's pretend this is my skin color, people. I think he even goes in here with like something that has a shimmer. It looks like a nice oval situation because of the way that he blended it. He goes in with um, more powder and then he just wipes here because he doesn't do the whole I'm just gonna clean up here it's like he really does it and then he blends it out I don't think I got the, the eyeshadow look right but anyway so he still goes back into this line here that's there to clean up And then he puts in a shimmer in there and I'm going to use that shimmer there in the center and does it with his fingers. Should have just waited to see what he was going to do. he went in with something dark again like here and I think it's something like to darken the, just a little bit but not um, so much that you can see it that still look natural so I think I'm gonna go in with a black and just also like blend it in this so it doesn't look like a line but it looks very natural and then he went and highlighted the top part of like the like underneath her eyebrows I'm going to do that now anyway so he did that James Charles palette with a very small brush like that because I think the idea is that you darken this part but you don't really like make it look like a liner you just smudge I think it's a smudge I think they call it a smudge yeah just smudge it so you just smudge this area here Okay, and then he just goes in with like um, clear with his translucent powder to fix everything nicely and a big brush and then just make sure everything is blended nicely for a final look. I'm not even in the mood to change my hair y'all, so I'm gonna stay with this ponytail. So this is the final look. Using the Scott Barnes method. Freda, I hope you're happy. I tried it. Like the eye and the, the shimmer in my eyebrow is I think the one. And then the, the lip situation it's a 
literally ask like I know like my bottom lip is bigger than my my top lip like he gave me my life <laughs> he really gave me my life I don't know if I look like my whole face looks like okay I'm a lot for words but it's snatched Thank you so much for watching. I'm not even gonna take out my like guys. This is it's like it's midnight. Can we just keep it real? Like from here on in, I'm gonna like go to bed. I'm gonna take a few pictures and then go to bed. But this whole look came together very beautifully. I'm really happy. I actually decided to actually take up the challenge and create and like follow his makeup look because it's so pretty. Again, the eyebrows, guys. The eyebrows. And that the halo situation there. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. And the fact that I don't even like put a lot of like product at the my bottom lid at all. But this is pretty. Thank God I did the whole boiler situation and that I don't even have time to like clean up here to give you guys like cool vibes like can we just it was a beautiful challenge if you have another challenge in mind something someone you need me or a makeup look you want me to recreate let me know now that i've created this one i'm excited to try something else please put it in the description box below in the comment section below i'll definitely try and recreate them and try and more recreating like looks it can also give me a lot of experience in my you know like makeup wise and teaches me a lot of new techniques that i didn't know like this i did not know but the brushes that I use are amazing. I'm gonna try and see if I can find those brushes. I bet they're gonna be expensive, but they're gonna be like worth every penny. They literally look like paint brushes. <sighs> yeah, let's just go ahead and take pictures. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you've liked, hope you've commented, and I hope you subscribe to the channel. I said it 500 times. It means please subscribe. It doesn't cost you a thing. Don't forget to like um, also click the notification bell and press all so that you can get all my notifications when I upload. I'll see you guys in my next makeup video, my next video in general. Okay, I'm done. <laughs>